This is an Illustrator tutorial for beginners, and we're gonna talk about the selection tool, the main selection tool here in Illustrator. So to start with, this is a shortcut key you've gotta remember and lock in. It's gonna be the one you use the most in Illustrator. The shortcut key for the selection tool is V. And the selection tool in your tool panel is up here. It's the very first one at the top. And what it does is essentially selects objects and text out in your document. So just by clicking with this tool selected, you can select groups of objects, single objects or shapes, or also text. Now the selection tool actually selects the entire object. So for instance, no matter which object I click on here in this group, it selects the whole group, not that single object. And no matter which anchor point I click on of a shape, it's gonna select the whole shape and not just that single anchor point. The other thing that you can do is click and drag to select either multiple objects or groups and text and objects on your artboard. That's called the marquee selection. It's kind of like clicking and dragging, making a selection and just selecting everything that's within that. The other thing that you can do, for instance, in a group, is you can double click on that group and look up here, we have a new navigation. We've actually gone inside of that group. We're in an isolation mode and there's lots of different isolation modes within that group. For instance, it's, it's kind of like the movie Inception if you've ever seen that. If you have a group within a group, you can keep double clicking to drill down to that very bottom most layer of your group as isolated as it gets. In this case, we just have all these objects in one single group. So now that I'm inside of that group, everything else is grayed out and I can actually click on each of these and I can move them around and work with them without accidentally messing with anything else. To get out of that, you can either click back on this layer one or you can double click outside of any of the objects in your group. Now, one other super important function of the selection tool, and it's a modifier shortcut key you're gonna wanna learn and use, is how to duplicate objects. You can actually hold the option key on your keyboard if you're on a Mac, or if you're on a PC, it's gonna be the Alt key. And when I hold that, and have an object already selected, see the little double arrow that pops up? That's signifying that we're gonna be duplicating this object if I click and drag it. So once I click and drag, I'm actually duplicating that object all while having the selection tool selected up here in my toolbar. So now if I click and drag without that modifier key, I'm just moving the object hold that modifier key, click and drag, and you're actually moving and duplicating another version of that object. The other thing that you can do is hold shift when you're moving things around, and shift is gonna keep your object lined up. See how we have these smart guides on? Just a quick little tutorial on smart guides. Up in the view dropdown, you'll see smart guides is checkmarked. That's all these little pink lines, helping you line up different parts that are important of your objects, so like the center point or an edge or the center here, any part of your path. Two other points that Illustrator deems uh, significant in your document. So as you move your object around, the smart guides are lining it up to different areas. So if I wanted to line the center of this square to the top of this path, I can just drag it close and Illustrator's gonna find that point. Now back to holding shift, holding shift is gonna keep it lined up. So if I don't hold shift, I can sort of move this around freely. If I hold shift, it's gonna sort of lock it into up and down or horizontal movement or even diagonal movement, but it really locks it into a certain movement. So if you wanted to move an object straight across your document, I would hold shift to help keep it lined up. And then turning those smart guides on is gonna help you also keep it lined up and see that you're staying in the same line, up, down, left, right, diagonal, doesn't matter. Now, another thing you can do with that selection tool is work with your objects. So once you have your object selected, you can sort of hover over the different parts of your object here. So if my corner widget is showing up, I can actually round corners with this selection tool. If I get this double-ended arrow here, I can scale my shape up. Notice how it's sort of scaling and skewing at the same time. If I hold shift, Shift is sort of like always keeping things in line, always keeping things proportional. So that's how you can proportionally scale. I can hold over just the top, and I even if I go left and right, it doesn't change my shape because I only held that top path. So that's just gonna go up and down. The other thing you can do, 
is when you get this rounded double ended arrow, you can actually rotate your object. And then holding shift, once again, proportional in line, right? It's gonna do every 45 degrees. So of course, with the selection tool, you can select objects using that shortcut key V to go back to it all the time when you're working with other tools. You just go back to that selection tool, move some things around. You can duplicate by holding Option or Alt if you're on Windows. You can also move or edit your objects just by clicking on different paths. You can rotate it, just looking for those double-ended arrows as you're hovering over the different sections of your object. By turning smart guides on, you can keep things lined up and also line up to other objects. You can double click into groups. There's a lot that you can actually do with the selection tool that as a beginner, I'm sure that you don't really know all these things. I remember when I started in Illustrator, first off, I thought it was gonna be a drawing program and I was gonna be like using a stylus or something and, and drawing in there. Turned out to be a whole different <laughs> program than I thought it was, but when I started, I just didn't even know what I was doing. So I hope this helped you kind of understand the selection tool. I'll put more videos as I release them in the description of this one where we go over the direct selection tool, we go over grouping objects, we go over a lot of different beginner topics, and make sure you subscribe to this channel for more beginner illustrator tutorials. My name is Spencer, this is Pixel and Bracket, and I'll see you guys next time. So you can select objects with that shortcut key V on your tool. <clears throat> See the little double ended arrow that pops up? It's not a double. And you're actually moving and duplicating another uh, 